Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video and Happy New Year of course because I am currently recording this in the beginning of year 2022. Now today we're talking about MK Mobile history and I want to start with the fact that the first episode which I did on MK Mobile history was covering the aspect of the game which isn't really known nowadays especially if you have started the game in the last one year, two years, something like this. We were talking about hackers, but today we're talking about the start of everything. When the game started, when it was the original launch of the game, what happened in the first few months. And currently, yeah, basically at that point it was just Tarwin Sky, nobody else. And I am currently watching at his one of his very, very uh, first videos. Uh, he's not even showing himself, he's just talking. And you can tell that he's kind of nervous or something, <laughs> like I am now. Because uh, it is really strange to take a look at the uh, game seven years back. You can see currently we have the Cold War Sony pack and that is early access. Cold War Sony, guys, was one of the first challenge goals that were ever released in MK Mobile. Now let's start with the facts. When the game was la launched for a few months, we didn't have any challenge goals. Then we got the very first challenge goal. If you're wondering who this guy is, there you go. It is Thundergat Raiden. Thundergat Raiden was the absolute very first challenge goat. And back then, guys, we didn't have uh, difficulties. It was just one difficulty. You're unlocking the character once, and once you do that, he is in the old store. And this is the Cold War Sony pack, the early access pack. We had them on every gold character. Basically, how the game worked was they released the early access pack, and uh, after it is gone, which is usually in one week, they're going to release the challenge for every single player. So if you want to pay, you can do that and get the, unlock the character one week earlier. Now, what would usually transfer, I mean, how this would translate to basically in real time, um, in real game of, I'm sorry, uh, currency is going to be, let's say you're spending $20 and then if you have enough souls, you can max out the character. So you can max out the character for $20 if you want to uh, get him or her earlier than the rest of the players. If you, however, want to wait, then you can max out the character without paying anything. There was a problem though that souls were extremely difficult to grind, but I'm going to uh, touch on that topic in probably part three of my MK Mobile series. Now, in this video, I won't be talking about what uh, character was released on this date, what character was released on that date. I just want to briefly introduce which were the first, the very first challenge goals we got ever. The first one, of course, was Hatri Kung Lao, but Hatri Kung Lao didn't have challenge. He was released after that. Before Hatri Kung Lao, we just, we just had the basic goal characters like Cryomancer, Sub-Zero, Alias, Johnny Cage, and so on. After that, we got Thundergut Raiden. After him, we had... I believe Piercing Melina and Flaming Fist Lucane. I'm saying we had, but it is wrong because I it is the wrong tense because I wasn't really playing game game about back then. But I actually saw the release schedule, and this is why I'm telling you all of these things. And we got to September when we had Cold War Sonia and Gunslinger Early Black. So Cold War Sonia was available from September 2015. And look at this, guys. We have the combat pack that was giving. Uh, one gold character, of course a random but still gold character. And we had the Nether Realm pack. Those three guys, they didn't have a challenge, however, they were locked in this pack. So you are paying 850 souls, which back then was extremely difficult to grind, don't get me wrong. Currently you can grind 850 souls for two days, something like this. Uh, or even one day if you're doing challenges and stuff. But back then you were grinding something on average like 26, 27 souls. That's excluding the challenges. So basically you're getting souls only from objectives. But I'm going to talk about that in the next episode. So you have the Nether Realm pack. So if you divide 850 by three, you get something like 280 souls per character. That was pretty, pretty good. Uh, however, Jax was complete garbage back then. Currently the Nether Realm Jax with his epic piece is pretty good. Without the epic pieces, he's let's say decent. But back then he was at his worst, <laughs> really at his worst. Quan Chi was good and Sub-Zero was good. So this is how the game looked like. 2015, one of the very first videos by Star Wars Guy. Look at this, you buy this pack and everything feels different. Look at the cards. The animation isn't smooth or it's kind of slow as if it's running on slow motion. So he's uh, opening some packs here uh, and he gets Swarm Cream Devora. <laughs> everything looks different. The game doesn't look that, let's say, 
cutting edge, let's call it this way, but it had spirit. This is what I enjoyed about the game. It had spirit. This is something that the game lacks now. Uh, you may get pretty good characters. The last few uh, characters, I really enjoyed the fact that they felt unique. Uh, and by the way, Morpho Kitana back then was um, a regular gold, not a basic gold, not a challenge gold. She didn't have a challenge. Uh, so the game had the spirit that currently lacks. This is what I liked about the game back then. I already talked about the hackers that you can literally... <laughs> I mean, the game was swarming with hackers. You couldn't do anything at some point, but it had the spirit which it currently doesn't. And... Uh, Oh, Assassin Kitana was a gold character back then. And basically the entire video here is opening packs. And this leads me to the thought, yeah, you can actually unlock cart and then you can max it out using the store. So we are going to talk about the store now, guys. And let's go straight into another Star in Sky video. All right, we are in um, April, the first joke type of video provided by Star in Sky, because this was immediately after update 2.0 when the old store was removed and this is how the old store looked like you can buy every single character at any time you can buy this character for coins starting uh, from uh, the the bronze card cards to the silvers golds and um, yeah as you can see the price increases it's not like the same as it is now and look at this come on cutthroat kano currently you know this guy by black dragon kano but back then you get marked this card by just paying coins so what they did is, I am not quite sure whether he was available in the new store before he was promoted to Diamond. I never saw him there. But anyways, the point is now you get this card as a random reward somewhere. While five years ago, 2015, and not only that, I believe 2017 and partially 2018, he was still available for coins. Uh, so if you paid some coins, you'd have maxed this guy out. And look at the price of every single character. You can see Commando Kano is uh, more expensive than Stun Double Johnny Cage, which is wrong because Stun Double Johnny Cage is so much better. Uh, Nimble Reptile is uh, actually more expensive than Nujitsu Scorpion. They had really these weird price tags, but at the end of the day, once again, the game had spirit. So what I'm telling you is that if you manage to open to unlock a character, actually, let me see whether uh, he's showing um, the gold characters. No, he's uh, the gold challenge character, so he isn't. Uh, all right, please, a little bit to the right. To the right, Master of Souls, Urmak, 325, Hattrick Kunglau. I don't think he'll be showing all the others. Hmm, come on. Where are the challenge uh, golds? I want to. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's a good, a good way to showcase. By the way, look at this. MK11 Jade had a trial, it was a way to obtain one copy of her for free. And the trial was pretty difficult, quite honestly, but still, we had a way to obtain her when she was a gold card. Now they removed even this from the game. And I'm going to just focus on this topic in the next two minutes. I won't be ranting a lot while I'm searching for a next video that actually showcased the entire store. Uh, so a lot of people are saying that if people stop spending on the game, the developers will change the course, right? Uh, I am not convinced this is going to work. And I'll explain to you why. Currently, 2021, in my opinion, when it comes to the fan base growth and stuff, I don't know about the revenue, of course, but when it comes to the fan base, is the absolute worst for MK Mobile. Uh, it is, I can feel it on my channel, the views. I can uh, pretty much see that other YouTubers are saying the same. Big names, such as Star in Sky, for instance, uh, such as. Um, Actually, there's another YouTuber that uh, said that the views are declining sharp since the day 3.3. Uh, that was... Oh my god, I forgot his name. Case Mobile Gaming, of course, I'm sorry. So, if we can feel that, they know that as well, the developers, right? Or the, whoever is running the whole thing. So, he's seeing that. He knows that. And what is he doing? Is he implementing some new great game modes so that he can attract more players? playing the game? Is he doing something to rectify this whole downward strength? No. What is he doing? He gives us a discount with 20 pack limitation. Like, no. I, I feel like with every update, they are reducing the free-to-play part of the game, despite the fact that they're losing fan base. It seems that they don't care. Uh, it's like they're milking as much money as possible 
so that they can invest in MK12, something like this. This is how it feels to me. If they really wanted to make something out of this game, they could have done it. But even when they're seeing that the game is going downwards, not only that they're not fixing it, they're making it even worse. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to think what will happen if the whale stops spending. Probably they'll just shut down the game. I don't know. This is just my observations. Anyway, now let's show you the rest of the store. All right, I found a video by Wabrowski11, so I just wanted to share with you how the old store looked like. Look at this. So you can see which card you can buy for souls and which card can be obtained in a specific pack. So Dark Empress Kitana 390 souls, she was gold. Cold War Sona 370 souls, she was gold. And that Hunter Johnny Cage, now you know him as Strike Force Johnny Cage, he was gold. So many cards that are now diamond were gold. And uh, at some point, guys, in 2018, all these things stopped existing. And I'm not talking about the fact that uh, we were having the store where we could max out specific uh, cards by paying souls. I'm talking, you can see Revenant Kung Lao, 250, also a gold card. So I was to talking about the fact that we stopped getting new challenges, like for good. For three years, they didn't release a single new challenge, which was really bad. And... Um, in my opinion, one of the worst things that uh, happens to the game now is that the new content, nobody cares about it unless they want to spend money. If you are a free player, you don't care about new updates. And that's really sad because I've been playing so many other games, mobile games like Clash Royale, like uh, Era of Chaos, and many other games that I used to play on mobile. Now I don't play them anymore. But still, the point is, I never had this feeling anywhere else. Like, we have a new update. And if you don't pay, you cannot access the features. Yeah, there were certain things that were uh, obtainable if you want to pay, but let's say the worst thing that I saw was 50-50. 50% of the update content is available for paying for a certain amount of time. The other thing is um, free to play. Or if you have, uh, let's say, saved for a long, long time, you can even unlock the pay to win stuff, right? And anyways, guys, so uh, the point of the video was to showcase the whole uh, old store and to showcase uh, how the game was launched. So basically, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time, guys. Take care. Perfect.